Hey, Achilleo, how do I set trailing stop? Okay, let me show you. So first things first, as always, we're going to be placing the orders uh, based on the auto charts. I'm going to place three orders and then what I'll be doing is once these three orders are done, I'm going to right click the each order, go to the training stop, which is already on the empty floor. First one, I'm going to put 15 points. Second one will be 50 points. Third one, I put as 100 points. And this is how much points from the actual current price I want my stop loss to be if the order turns positive. Now you're gonna see the first one on the left is gonna be super fast because the market just stays a little bit positive and then bounces back and that's when it closes. Will be right about now, see? It already closed. Now, uh, this was not a good example for us to see. So I want you to pay attention to the right one, which is the NZD JPY. Uh, pair. Once it reaches more than 50 points uh, positive, the, the current price, then you're going to see that the stop loss shows up here at the bottom. And the more the, the price goes up, then the more the stop loss keeps going up, right? Always 50 points from the highest price achieved on this. But then if we knew how was the, what was the highest point of this pair, then of course it'd be better for us to close at the highest point so we don't lose too much on the opportunity. Instead, we have to wait for the price to come back and close it like we're seeing it right now. Uh, so again, if we knew that the highest point we had on the previous candle, we will be making more money. Now, the third order, I did set up over 400 points. It's gonna take too long and just to keep this video short, I'm gonna close manually. But uh, again, there's no real answer to how you do the training stop. Just try and error and see what works for you.